Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very good. We back to work today. Yeah, it's been it's been raining a lot, and then as you can see, mm -hmm. all this was just full of water here. Since this thing was just built, uh, there's going to be concrete here, but not now. Right now, everything just kind of flows in there, so it's all wet and stuff. So it's very hard to do any work. Okay. But today it seems like the rain is coming to an end. We had about two weeks of rain. Yeah. So today I am going to work on this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little punch mm -hmm. and I'm going to punch out the rest of, see these here? See this here? This is a rivet. This is a rivet that used to go here. Mm -hmm. Right? So what I'm going to do is see this here? I punched them out the other day to see how it went. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to punch out all these rivet heads or rivet butts, I guess, mm -hmm. all the way down there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I bought a detailed sander, which is a, a, a one inch band. It's a belt sander. I want to put it down in here. Mm -hmm. All right. But I'm going to wait till after this is welded. But I'm going to go back in here. And, and especially this area here, you have to sand. All right. Uh, there's not much there, but uh, I got a sand. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, then after I do that, then uh, I will take, if you notice here, I will take a piece of paper and go from here to this hole over here, but underneath. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. So I will go and make a, a pattern of it by pressing on it yeah and then what that will do is i can line it up with this hole and this hole mm -hmm. and it'll give me all the holes in between mm -hmm. so they can be drilled so that we can push this back and mm -hmm. uh uh re-rivet this thing but first we need to you know clean this thing up and all that and once this thing is welded then we have to uh, make this smooth and bondo it all and all that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm going to take and punch in those rivet heads. Okay. Yeah. Keep and on since going. there's a lot of rain, you you go back there in that back section, move everything forward, and drop some plastic from that side to this side. Mm -hmm. Right. So that we can sandblast with that glass beads mm -hmm. and see if we can take all that rust out of there. Yeah. Uh, uh, put some primer on it mm -hmm. so it doesn't uh, rust out. See, mm -hmm. like here, this is rusting out here. You got a little bit of surface rust, but it's okay. I'm gonna. Yeah, uh, from the rain, huh? That's, yeah, that's from all the humidity and rain and what have you. But uh, we're gonna sandblast this with uh, glass bead so we can uh, put a little bit of primer on that. And this way, we can, uh, on rainy days, we can work on that back section over there. Mm -hmm. And we can, uh, we can uh, put a piece of plywood and all that, you know. Plus, I've ordered the, the rust treatment mm -hmm. for that area over there inside the louver. Mm -hmm. uh, that louver, uh, the, the little round piece that we took off over there. Mm -hmm. If you look, you can see all the way through to the inside. So it is very important that there is no communication between the outside of the bus and the inside of the bus for several reasons. One, if it's out here where it can get wet, you're going to have uh, water inside. Hmm. If it is somewhere where uh, there's none of that danger, sound will get in there. All it takes is a little pinhole to bring in a lot of noise inside the bus. And I don't mean you need to have this gaping hole like this. A little pinhole can bring a lot of noise in. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, and the most important, especially back there in the engine, so you don't have any fumes mm. coming inside the bus and putting you permanently to sleep. Okay. So, yeah. 
All right, well, let's get busy and because uh, uh, we're only going to be here half a day mm -hmm. and uh, then we're going home. Yeah. Uh, Bia, come help. And Bia, 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 Bia. She just tapped the pup. When we came this pop. morning, she was so happy to see us. Oh. Did she? She eat? A little bit? A little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe she's not hungry. Well, maybe. We need to find her, her water bowl. No, no, I saw it. You saw it? Oh, uh -huh. okay. They right. have water there, you know. Very good. All right, mm -hmm. let's get busy. See you, Bia. Good girl. Okay, so here we are. One put some plastic all in here. And uh, what I am going to try to do is spray this with some uh, glass bead. And, uh, well, not spray here, but back in this section here get all this stuff here so that the glass bead falls on this plastic here and uh, hopefully reuse some of it and uh, and the thing is what I want to do okay, what I want to do is I want to get all of this all of that all the way around here if you look right there, you can see that spot right there. That goes all the way through. So I've ordered the uh, the uh, rust treatment and the uh, sealer and all that stuff. So before uh, before I do that, I want to uh, sandblast this thing with a glass bead all in here and uh, prep it so I can do the other side. Yeah, same thing with this here, down in that corner. Yeah. And uh, this back section back here, looks pretty good. It's not until you get to this here, forward, that you start seeing some of this stuff here. So once I sandblast this thing here then I can actually take this plastic move it forward recover whatever glass bead is on here but move this forward take some of this stuff and move it back here because what I want to do is underneath here is the stuff the insulation that went here I want to take and uh, put a uh, a piece of half inch plywood in here. The one thing that I've been meaning to do and haven't done is right here where this wire goes uh, I need to uh, put a hole in the back on the outside and run uh, some kind of uh, cable through here like some of that um, that coax cable 
about the size of uh, something that would uh, uh, be in a rear camera or a 360 camera or something because once I cover this area here I won't have access to back there and even now I don't have access because from this point here back it's, it's, it's a good little ways but if I drill it over there and put something that is stiff I can bring it and guide it and put it through that hole right there yeah anyway but before I do this I have to uh, uh, I have to go and empty out that uh, I have to empty out that uh, that sun blasting tank that has uh, that baking soda stuff that was a waste of money but you don't know until you do it so I have to empty it so I can use that glass bead now I won't be able to tell you about the glass bead until I use it so hopefully it'll work all right uh, good morning Josh morning how are you yeah what are we going to do today well today we're conducting experiment number two <laughs> today we're gonna try this glass bead that we bought a long time ago mm -hmm. and what we're going to do yeah let me show you yeah and, and you know I didn't look at the ingredients but it says it's supposed to be uh, glass but I wonder if it's mixed in with sand because it looks I don't know unless it's different colored glass maybe it's different colored glass but sand make grass you know yeah 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 if you heat it up uh, if the sand you heat it up it yeah that's maybe that's why it looks like that anyway we're going to try we're gonna try Hold on. Hold on, let me take off my shoes. Okay, so we're going to try to sandblast this back here, this area here, this here, right? And then we'll try to get this here. Now, we're not going to go too far in there. I think we should buy another plastic so that we can cover this thing depending on how much dust is generated is whether we buy another plastic or not but uh yeah something to throw over this thing or something i don't know either way i'm gonna try to get all this stuff in here right and uh we need to put a hole in the back back there so we can run a wire in here so we can uh pull the uh the cable in for the uh 360 and maybe a rear camera i don't know uh, we'll see we'll see what we do but either way, we need to have something to pull the wire back and forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I want to do is underneath the plastic here, we have the rest of this stuff that goes in here. So I want to put that back so it doesn't get damaged and lost. I also want to make sure that, uh, see this corner here? You can see all the way through. Uh, Wednesday, I believe. I think it's Wednesday. We're supposed to get the uh, paint to treat this rust. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll get this rust uh, treatment thing and uh, we'll go ahead and brush all this stuff here. Do back in the back and then put the sealer in there to seal up all that stuff. And then the uh, insulation that goes here can go back in there. And then after that it's a matter of uh, making sure we have that wire through here. And then we're going to uh, get a piece of plywood and, and cover this. Now this is not going to be the, the, uh, the back of this thing, but it's going to be uh, uh, kind of like an isolation board between here and the back. And then later on, uh, and I'm going to have to think about this, but we're going to put the ceramic uh, paint up on the ceiling, on the roof, if it works out pretty good to where you can tell a big difference in the in the heat then we're going to treat that plywood that will be here uh, before we actually go into whatever we're going to build and that'll give it a a, a ceramic coating between uh, this insulation sound barrier 
the half inch plywood and then the treatment of ceramic and then the other half inch before we start building out but right now my my main thing is I want to get rid of this rust so we can prime it we're working on the outside but it's been raining a lot so we haven't uh, we have to make sure that uh, uh, we get everything you know that needs to be primer because when we primer I want to primer the inside and the outside the roof all that stuff now the base the luggage base will be done last after we remove the floor right because then what we can do is we can treat all the metal that's underneath this floor do whatever we need to do fix you know fix any rust or whatever and uh, at, at that time we'll worry about uh, uh, primering the base now one thing I want to do that I think uh, will help me a lot especially since I have bad knees and I can't be crawling around all over the place when we get to the to this last bay where the water is we're going to install all that before the floor goes in but it will all be primered and everything and it will be ready to go but I'm going to install those tanks in there so that I can get it from underneath from the top from the side without having the floor in here and then once that is done and I'm happy then the plywood can go in but I can put the plywood coming this way up to the point where the base starts but right now we're going to try this thing here and we'll let you know is it work or not if it works or not if not there goes another well this one was 60 bucks i think so there goes another 60 bucks down the drain but we'll see now you might say you don't have enough pressure well that could be it but that's 175 psi from that compressor that we have there which is more than your average one which only has 120 so 175 is more than enough pressure if it doesn't work it's because of the media now we tried that uh, baking soda that's uh, that's very soft it, it just doesn't have the impact now this is supposed to be glass it should have a, a harder impact and it should uh, do a little bit better at cleaning this thing mm -hmm. so let me put on my headpiece here okay uh, we're gonna go and get the generator going uh, fill up the tank and then uh, we'll try to see what happens okay. all right get back to you all right there you go just starting experiment with the fan blasting let's see I'm right here Okay guys, so uh, we did a little bit of uh, some blasting with this uh, glass bead and let me tell you, it works really super nice. It's very efficient and it works really well. Here I did this piece up here and uh, you can see, I'm not finished with that one there but you can see all of that right there uh, this one back here yeah it cleans it off really really good and here's one that hasn't been done yeah the other thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna bring that uh, louvered piece from that corner there I'm gonna hit it with this thing and see how it does instead of struggling to sand all that orange paint out of there I'll show you in a minute okay so uh, we're at a that one bag of uh, glass bead, uh, media but as you can see it does a pretty good job now here is where I ran out of media but uh, it does very well now this thing here if you 
uh, run it, it'll go down to nothing. But here's a very quick swipe. It takes it down to that green that it used to be. But most importantly, you can get down in there and on the sides with no struggle whatsoever. So I'm going to order a couple more bags. And uh, yeah, all this, we can do this outside along with that uh, big rear door and uh, finish this thing here. And uh, right now, Woon is going to vacuum this whole thing and then we'll rearrange this thing and move it over here and then when we get the media we'll try it again because this is only going to go from right there where one is it'll be one two and three this is the last of the of the uh, rust but it's only on the sides here it's on the sides back there is where it was a lot worse but it's doing a fantastic job at it and then up here the only place you have it is here a little bit on this side very little along the rail and very little along this rail here so here is a matter of covering that whole dash with plastic and uh, yeah and then we'll be done with this thing and we can uh, uh, spray some uh, primer and away we go all right let one uh, vacuum and uh, this way we don't have all the noise in the recording all right see you next time see you bye bye